Okay, today we are making an olive oil and rosemary cake. Before we even start this recipe, get the butter to room temperature. Have a good KitchenAid if you're making a bigger recipe. If not, you could use a small bowl if you're just doing one portion. We're gonna go for two minutes on a medium speed to get this all creamed together nicely. Okay, so when we add the olive oil, use an olive oil that you typically like because that flavor profile is really gonna come through after we bake it. So now we're gonna add this unique flavor of rosemary in here. Now the rosemary changes flavor. It almost takes on a sweet-like flavor. So it works in this dish. Okay, great. So we're making sure no flour is stuck to the sides. It's all incorporated. It's all creamed together. That's ready to go into our baking molds now. Okay, so these are gonna be our little baking molds that we're gonna use, but you could use muffin tins as well. Anything that can go into the oven. I buttered it with soft butter, put in some sugar, and it's gonna give it a nice cookie finish on our cake at the very end. But what we wanna do, tap it down so everything gets into those corners and it rises evenly. Part of your work in the kitchen is always remembering that you need the oven preheated for later. So it's at 325, do that before you start the cakes and then it's done and ready to go. With a skewer or even a toothpick, just go in and then you're gonna pull that out and see how that comes out nice and clean. They are ready. When the cakes come out, give them a little bit of time, three, four minutes. When they're manageable to hold, we're gonna put them onto our wire rack and allow them to cool down. And look at that, nice and clean. And we're gonna just put that, place that on top of our wire wrap. Okay. Now I'm not a pastry chef by trade, so when I do play around with pastry, I wanna make sure it's a good recipe that works. And trust me, this one works. 